good morning students now today you are going to learn how the emf can be induced in a coil by changing the orientation of the coil with respect to the magnetic field in the previous session i have explained how the emf can be induced in a coil by changing the magnetic field and also by changing the area of the coil with respect to the magnetic field now you are going to learn the most important method third method in which we are going to learn how the emf can be induced by changing the orientation of the coil with respect to the magnetic field first you have to learn what is orientation let us imagine here assume that this is a rectangular coil and this portion can be assumed as the plane of the coil you have to assume there are two pole pieces on either direction of the uh, rectangular coil that coil that could be rotated like this if you make the rotation like this what will happen uh, because of rotation the magnetic flux linked with the coil will change are you clear the magnetic coil magnetic flux linked with the coil changes with respect to time emf will be induced in the coil are you clear so by changing the position or orientation of the coil within the magnetic field which one can be produced emf can be induced in the coil we are going to derive various derivation and steps and in the meantime i will demonstrate how the emf is induced at various positions listen here you have to assume that this is the plane of the coil one rectangular coil is placed here all our models you have to assume like that here this nail that shows the normal which is drawn to the plane of the coil are you clear normal is nothing but perpendicular line which is drawn to the surface is called normal here there are two pole pieces north pole and south pole within which one magnetic field is present large number of magnetic lines of force are passing here few lines are drawn just for representation here b is nothing but the strength of the magnetic field the direction of the magnetic field is shown in the form of arrow head are you clear look at the diagram here sample diagram we have to understand what is theta here theta is the angle between the direction of the magnetic field and the normal don't forget till the end of the end of the discussion don't forget that the angle is nothing but angle between the normal drawn to the surface and the magnetic field okay so in between angle is theta theta is nothing but omega t in last year 11th standard you may have learnt about angular velocity omega is nothing but omega is theta by t so omega is equal to theta by t and theta is equal to omega t instead of theta wherever theta comes there you can write omega t are you clear now here five positions are there when it rotates when the coil rotates five different positions are shown here so here while rotating the coil at various positions different amount of induced emf will be produced finally we are going to prove that the emf induced in the coil is sinusoidally varying one that we have to prove are you clear so here some amount of induced emf is produced but instantaneously it is varying at each and every time the varying emf is created to derive the formula for instantaneously varying emf we have to do one derivation as per uh, faraday's law what you have learned here in faraday's law what you have learned e is equal to minus d phi by dt this is the formula given by faraday here what the formula says when magnetic flux changing with respect to time emf will be induced in the coil are you clear so here what is pi pi is the magnetic flux linked with the coil here n number of turns are there you have to assume that n number of turns are wound on the coil so therefore the magnetic flux formula is magnetic flux linked with n number of turns is n b a cos theta you can write like this the magnetic flux linked with n number of turns is n b a cos theta instead of theta we can write omega t n pi is equal to n b a cos omega t can be written are you clear now in this formula since the emf is linked with n number of turns we can write uh, n d phi by dt are you clear so substitute 
that value of here itself you can write n so d pi by dt of n pi because flux is changing with respect to time are you clear that is linked with n number of turns so what is the next formula d pi by dt of instead of n pi substitute this formula how will you write n b a cos omega t we can write like this so here which one is going to be varied while the coil is rotating with respect to the magnetic field number of turns is not going to be altered magnetic field is not going to be altered and the area of the coil is also not going to be changed the orientation alone is going to be changed when it is changing its position its orientation from one position to another position what will happen the theta will change therefore we have to use this cos omega t alone in this derivation that is to be differentiated e is equal to minus you write the constant factors outside n b a d pi by d t of what should be written cos omega t alone must be written are you clear so e is equal to minus n b a if cos omega t is differentiated you will get minus sin omega t minus sin omega t can be written and then omega t to be differentiated separately you will get omega here one minus sign is there here another minus sign is there both can be written in the form of plus are you clear therefore you will get n b a omega sin omega t is the formula final formula are you clear now this one can be written as e is equal to n b a omega sin omega t that can be written as this entire factor can be replaced by the common factor called e naught i will tell you what is e naught so now e is equal to e naught sin omega t i will explain what is it here when the coil rotates within the magnetic field a varying magnetic mag varying emf will be induced instantaneously the emf is changing with respect to time that's why this small e is called as instantaneously varying emf are you clear here in the same coil when the coil rotates at certain positions maximum amount of emf will be induced that maximum amount of emf is called as e naught are you clear so here we can write it as this n b a omega is replaced no so e naught is nothing but n b a omega don't forget to do certain problems this formula is important the maximum amount of emf which is generated in the coil is equal to how much n b a omega to find out e naught number of turns magnetic field strength area of the coil angular uh, velocity all the factors must be known only then e naught can be calculated so this formula is most important one so the instantaneously varying emf that is represented by the equation e is equal to e naught sin omega t by knowing the value of omega t see that the instantaneously varying emf that depends on omega t at various positions depends on the angle omega t e value will change are you clear but which one is constant here that amplitude of the that is amplitude of the emf maximum emf that is constant but this one will vary that depends on omega t are you clear so don't forget the equation e is equal to e naught sin omega t by using this expression e is equal to e naught sin omega t we are going to find out what is the magnitude of the emf at various phi positions now we have to assume that the coil is going to be rotated at various position phi positions we are going to measure what is the emf at various positions now i would like to remove this portion this setup for derivation purpose i need to get space that's why i am removing are you clear now look at the here 
Now, in the first position, we are going to calculate the EMF. In the second position also, we are going to calculate the EMF. In the third position, we are going to calculate the EMF. And fourth and also in fifth position, we are going to calculate the EMF. We are going to see how the EMF is going to change. Let's take the formula E is equal to E naught sin omega t. Write it like this. Now look at that. Look at the first position. Here in this position, the normal and the magnetic field. Normal and the magnetic field. That is, that is, that is drawn here. This is the normal of the plane of the coil. This is the magnetic field. What is the angle between the normal and the magnetic field? Omega t is equal to 0. So instead of omega t, we can write it as E is equal to E naught sin 0. What is the value of sin 0? 0. Therefore, EMF will be 0. In this position, don't forget, in this position, there won't be any EMF induced in this position. But maximum flux will pass through. I want to mention that maximum flux will be passing through the coil but EMF induced in this position is zero no EMF now the coil is going to be rotated in the anti-clockwise direction what is this anti clock see if the initial portion of the coil means the coil to be rotated in the anti-clockwise direction now after rotating the coil in the anti-clockwise direction through an angle of 90 degree look at the normal look at the normal here the normal is acting in this direction magnetic field is acting in this direction in between the normal and magnetic field look at that this is the direction of magnetic field this is a normal at what angle the coil is rotated 90 degree therefore theta is equal to omega t which is equal to pi by 2 now in the second position we are going to calculate the emf e is equal to e naught sin omega t fundamental formula must be written e is equal to e naught sin pi by 2 you know the for value of sin pi by 2 sin pi by 2 value is 1 therefore e is equal to e naught so what are the value of the emf maximum emf will be induced are you clear so the meaning is the emf initially it was zero now the emf in this position is maximum emf so when it is rotated from this position to this position slowly it is increasing increasing from 0th value to maximum value are you clear suddenly it won't increase so the value of emf is slowly increasing from 0th value to maximum value e naught are you clear this is the maximum value of emf induced in the coil in this position look at the uh, magnetic flux in this position there won't be any magnetic flux magnetic flux is not passing through the coil therefore zero magnetic flux is passing through the coil in this position are you clear now we are going to see what happens in the third position look at that b is acting in this direction after rotating the coil through an angle of previously it was here like this now it is rotated like this so with respect to the initial position what should be the angle 180 degree are you clear with respect to the magnetic field what is the angle between normal and the magnetic field 180 degree that is written as pi in the third position angle between b and normal is 180 degree now substitute the value here write the fundamental formula e is equal to e naught sin omega t e is equal to e naught sin 180 angle between b and normal is 180 substitute sin 180 is 0 therefore no emf is induced in the third position in this position there won't be any emf are you clear but maximum flux will be passing through the coil so pi is equal to maximum flux that's why i have written max look at here in the first position no emf in the second position slowly it is increasing from 0 to maximum EMF when it is rotated through an angle of 180 degree what happens again the EMF becomes 0 are you clear so these are all the important um, things that you have to understand I will put a marking here EMF is 0 EMF is maximum EMF again it becomes 0 are you clear now look at the fourth position 
Now the coil is rotated through an angle of 270 degree that is 3 by by 2. The angle between the magnetic field and the normal is how much? 270 degree that is 3 by by 2. Now we have to calculate what is the magnetic sorry what is the induced EMF induced in the coil strength of the induced EMF to be calculated. Write the formula E is equal to E naught sin omega d E is equal to E naught sin instead of omega d 3 pi by 2 must be substituted. Are you clear? So E is equal to E naught sin 3 pi by 2 sin 270 is minus 1. Therefore E m of value becomes minus E naught. Very important point here. Look at the value of E m of this is arrived in terms of negative sign. Are you clear? It shows that the direction of the EMF is direction of the EMF is changing. Are you clear? Now it has reached the negative peak value of the uh, peak value of the induced EMF. Are you clear? It shows that so while rotating the coil, while orientation is changed, in one half cycle current will be flowing in this direction. Look at that. Current will be flowing in this direction. In the next half cycle, the same current will be flowing in the opposite direction. When the direction of the induced current changes, you will get like this. Are you clear? In this position, 0 EMF. In this position, maximum EMF. In this position, again what happens? 0 EMF. When it is rotated like this, the direction of the EMF changes. Therefore, minus sign is obtained. Don't forget. Okay. And then, now the coil it has completed one revolution. This is the last position. Now compare this one and this one. This is the initial position, this is the final position. Now it has come to the final position after making the one complete revolution. Now what will be the angle between B and N? Angle is, this is the direction of the normal, this is the direction of B, this is the direction of B. Are you clear? I will extend this. This is the direction of B. So what is the angle between B and N? Total angle travel is how much? 2 pi. Now E is equal to E naught sin 2 pi instead of omega t I have substituted. E is equal to E naught sin 2 pi value. How much? 0. So therefore EMF is equal to how much? 0. Okay. No EMF is induced. Are you clear? So here 0 EMF here positive maximum EMF that is E naught here no EMF here maximum EMF but it is in the negative direction no EMF but flux is more in this position flux will be maximum are you clear here no flux because through the area flux can't pass through therefore here also flux is zero are you clear now make a note that EMF is zero here understood so look at the change that occurs in emf also here at one position zero emf is produced here maximum emf is produced here zero emf is produced here negative maximum the maximum emf is produced but it is in the negative direction again emf value becomes zero that's why since the EMF is changing with respect to omega t, that's why this is called as instantaneously varying EMF. Each and every moment depends on the angle. What happens? The EMF value changes with respect to time, with respect to the angle. That's why this is called as instantaneously varying EMF. Are you clear? So this derivation and this derivation part, diagram, everything to be drawn in the examination only then you will get full mark so this is the step from which we have got the equation e is equal to e naught sin omega t so when the coil changes with respect to time are you clear when the orientation of the coil changes with respect to time this is the equation from which we have to calculate the emf induced in a coil are you clear here the orientation of the coil it changes with respect to time as well as with respect to the angle okay so here we are going to learn how the emf changes with respect to omega t look at the equation this is the equation called 
e is equal to e naught sin omega t where e is nothing but instantaneous emf with respect to time the emf is changing in the coil that's why this is called instantaneous emf at every instant the emf is changing so here we are going to prove that the emf is graphically it is sinusoidal one are you clear look at the factor call to see the trigonometrical function sin is there so graphically we have to learn that the nature of the emf instantaneous emf is sinusoidally varying one look at the position in this position already we have learned that the emf is zero no emf is induced in this position are you clear so the graph is drawn between the omega t what is this the graph to be drawn between omega t and e omega t to be taken in x axis and the emf instantaneous emf to be taken in y axis look at that omega t is taken in x axis and emf is taken in y axis are you clear <coughs> here the amplitude of the instantaneous emf is e naught and its direction also changes therefore in positive uh, y axis i have written plus e naught in the negative y axis i have written minus e naught so all the marking everything to be drawn in proper form only then we can draw the graph like this so when the angle is omega d when the angle is omega d emf is zero that's why the marking is made here and then when the omega t becomes 90 degree after 90 degree rotation omega t is becomes pi by 2 when omega t is pi by 2 already we have learned that e is equal to plus e naught instantaneous emf it reaches the peak value e naught therefore the marking is made must be made here when omega t is pi by 2 emf becomes plus e naught so therefore the marking is made here after the complete 180 degree rotation when the orientation changes the angle between the normal and the magnetic field is 180 are you clear when the angle is 180 the emf value becomes zero are you clear so omega t is pi by pi and emf is zero so the marking must be made here are you clear and then when the coil is further rotated through an angle of 270 degree that is 3 pi by 2 already we have calculated that that the emf value is minus e naught the direction of induced emf changes so because of that what happens the marking must be made here are you clear the marking must be made here that is omega t is 3 pi by 2 emf is minus e naught therefore the marking must be made here when the coil completes one revolution that is after making 360 degree rotation omega t becomes 2 pi omega t becomes 2 pi are you clear the omega t becomes 2 pi and emf value becomes zero after uh, emf becomes zero that marking must be made here omega t is 2 pi 2 pi emf is zero so the markings are made here there here here and there if all are connected you will get a sine curve the shape of the curve is clear it is sinusoidal in nature are you clear here the coil it has completed only one revolution for that you have got one sine curve if the coil continues to rotate for further more rotations the sine curve it will continue are you clear for example if the coil completes 10 complete rotations means revolutions means the sine curve must be drawn for 10 times are you clear this is one if completes two second time means you have to draw this one to be extended the graph must be extended look at that <coughs> this is for first uh, this is for first rotation are you clear if the coil completes second rotation we have to draw like this if the coil completes third rotation the graph must be extended or you clear depends on the number of rotations we can draw and we can extend the graph are you clear so equation wise we have proved that instantaneous emf is sinusoidally varying one and in the meantime the same equation that is shown in the form of graph also are you clear so this is the explanation about how the instantaneous emf changes sinusoidally exactly with respect to time okay so within the coil emf is generated now that induced emf will be sinusoidal in nature thank you